What spirits do you listen to? This is Father Jonathan Meyer, and Merry Christmas to you, and peace on earth is my prayer for you. Many of you are familiar with the story, The Christmas Carol. I had the opportunity to go and see it live at a high school production just a few weeks ago. Our reading today from the letter of John says this, Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test, to see, test the spirit to see whether they belong to God. Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they belong to God. Of course, in A Christmas Carol, Scrooge is visited by three spirits. The past, the present, and the future. St. John, the beloved disciple, is not probably speaking of those three spirits. St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits, speaks about the discernment of spirits. The need for us to discern whether a thought, an inclination, a desire is either A, from God, from the devil, from the world, or from ourselves. Whether a thought, a desire, or an inclination that comes to us in prayer is from God, the devil, the world, or ourselves. I think reflecting and just even just asking that question as we begin to discern the spirits can be such a grace in our lives. Oftentimes we can become obsessed or fixed on something that's clearly not of God, that's clearly from Satan, that's clearly from the world, or even from ourselves. So it's important for us not to trust every thought or spirit or feeling or emotion, but to know that we need to discern. St. John advises us to. And when we do, we'll find great grace. Let's be honest. Charles Dickens was right. Spirits can lead us in tremendous ways. Scrooge converted. Oftentimes, inclinations and desires and inspirations that are given to us by God can convert us. That's the best Christmas gift you can give to the Lord, is your conversion. So may you test the spirits, may you act upon the ones we know are from God. And in doing that, my dear brothers and sisters, may we all have a very, very, very Christmas, becoming the saints of God's kingdom. God bless you. Thank you.